What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two great news stories for you and a couple of questions. Let's dive into the tech news. First, our first story of the day is about the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, the processor that will most likely live inside of the Galaxy S23 phones and a bunch of other phones as well, and how efficient it is. So let's talk about it. So here's a tweet, it's coming from Ice Universe saying, the overall efficiency of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is at least 15% higher than that of the 8 Gen 1, uh, Plus, the one that's gonna be in the Z Flip and Z Fold 4 phones. There is no accident. This is the flagship processor with the best energy efficiency in the past six years of Android. So you gotta remember, the 8 Plus processor is supposed to be about 15% better than the regular 8 Gen 1. And when you combine that 8 Gen 1 for going all the way to 8 Gen 2, it's about 30% at least more efficient, meaning you should get really, really good performance, not only, but also really good battery life, or pretty good battery life, the way it, like, it should sip the battery rather than chug the battery. So good things to look forward to for the next generations of phone coming out in 2023. Next up is all about the One UI 5.0 software. Now, the beta software for this should be out in the next maybe weeks uh, for you to get, but we're already starting to see some screenshots of exactly what it looks like and some things that are different about it, including better animations, at least from what we're seeing so far. So let's check this out. All this stuff is coming from the folks over at 9to5Google by way of Max Weinbeck. And here's some images that we're gonna check out. So first of all, the first image that we're going to check out is the drop down menu for notifications. So you can see the notifications have changed a little bit. They're more Google-esque, more a little bit more pixelish on here uh, than what they previously looked like. But those, with those that's what the notification panel looks like. Then we take a look at the stock Android permission dialogues, like when you hit allow or don't allow. I kind of like that it's at the middle of the screen rather than at the bottom. Might get lost if it's at the bottom. If it's smack dab in your face, I think more people will probably see the allow, don't allow uh, moniker on there. Next up is the OCR dialog box. And what this is all about is this allows you to capture uh, text and copy it from images and things and then paste it in like a text or something like that. So this is going to be looking similar to way, the way iOS 16 does it. And One UI 5 will again be able to do that as well, built right into it. Next, we have a quick look at the new multitasking uh, multitasking gestures on here. So you have the swipe for uh, split screen, you can turn that on or off, and you do that by swiping with two fingers from the bottom of the screen, and then you have your swipe for a pop-up view, and you would do that from the corner of the screen, and then here's some miscellaneous changes as well. Nothing too crazy on here. And then, other than that, is One UI 5 is not really supposed to bring a ton of different changes, it's really supposed to bring better animation speeds. And here's some videos, one by Max, one by one uh, Ice Universe on here, showing that it is seemingly faster, and I know you could probably do this on One UI 4.1 as well, but ultimately, what we've been hearing thus far is One UI 5 will probably not bring a ton of changes, but it will bring better performance in terms of the day-to-day -day usage of going in and out of different apps and just overall usage of the operating system as a whole. Your question of the day, is are you looking forward to one ui5 you're going to try to get that beta let me know in the comments down below i'm going to try to get the beta if i can um, on my phones or whatever phone i can get on or all of the phones so i definitely will try to get it and if i do i'll put a video out about it with that said let's jump into the q a portion of the video and drop that First question comes from Jonathan Oren. What is a good smartphone with a decent camera, enough storage, 256, decent RAM range, uh, mid-range phone, do you recommend? At that price range, if you're living in America, um, the ones that I've personally used are, I, I like the Pixel 6. I would say get, just get the regular Pixel 6. It's a mid-range phone, 600 bucks. You might even be able to get it cheaper um, through one of the carriers or buy it used or something like that. But I would say with it's got really good, and you can get 256 gigs of storage, and it's got a really good camera. I'd go Pixel 6. Wonho Choi says I'm using Buds Pro as my main earbuds now. Do you think it's worth upgrading to the Buds Pro 2? Um, obviously, I don't have the Buds Pro 2, but I think, again, I like to say this saying, there's enough meat on the bone to get excited about and to upgrade. 
So I'd say, yeah, do the upgrade, especially if you can get it for a really, really good price. And our last question from Joe Cunning, when will Galaxy flip phones get embedded S Pen? Um, I don't know if they ever will. I think the only way they would is if they really increase the size of that phone. Cause I think ultimately what they're, what they're trying to do with the flip is really make it thin and make it like a sexy phone. I don't think they'll ever put an S Pen in, but if they do, I think it has to get ginormous for them. Not ginormous, but bigger screen on there for them to even think about doing it. And it'd have to be in the thicker phone as well. So I don't think they'll do it, but if they do it, I think those are the caveats that have to go through. Thanks so much for your questions. If you have a question, leave it in the comments down below with the first word being question. We'll see you down the road. Peace.